Delta Emulator is probably one of the best apps ever released, hopefully in the year, basically of all time, but especially in the year of 2024, definitely one of my most favorite apps ever. And I'll show you a quick introduction on exactly how to use this amazing, amazing application. Now, first of all, the big thing to keep in mind is that this particular app is available right inside of the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. So you can always make your way into your app store and pretty much just search up Delta. Now, if it's your first time ever using one of these applications, again, it's a very, very basic thing to understand. It's an emulator. It basically will emulate all sorts of different apps and games and so many other things. Now, once you download the app, you wanna go and open it up. Now, the first time you open it up, there's probably not gonna be any games. There's not gonna be anything loaded. So to give you a quick breakdown on exactly what it looks like when you first open it up, it'll look like this minus the games. In the top left corner, there's a settings app. So you can click inside of here and there's a lot of settings that you're gonna go over and we'll talk about those in a second. The top right will just give you a little plus icon. You can load up games. This is how you can import files. So you can load up games and files straight from your iTunes or files folder. So you can import a ROM or whatever. That's how you do it. All of your ROMs and games will be loaded up right here. And you can actually swipe between GBA and NDS and NES and all these other emulators that you have in between. So you can actually swipe in between all of those and load up the games that way. So that is that. Now within the settings app, you'll basically see a couple of things. Under controllers, if you wanna go and change your controller setup, so if you wanna go from a touch screen to a Bluetooth controller, you can do that within this panel and you can connect up to four controllers. You can change your skins right here too, which I have videos on in my third channel and my second channel exactly how to do that too. So you can change your skins right within this panel. You can change the opacity of your controller right within here if you wanna make it you know, brighter or less bright or more see-through, you can do that here. Under respect silent mode, if you want your game to basically be able to play the audio, even if you're on silent mode, you wanna go and basically be able to just turn this off. If you wanna enable or disable your haptics, aka your vibrations as you're clicking things on your controller, you can go and enable this or disable this. I kinda of like having it on, but you can kinda of configure it whichever way you want to here as well. Under service, if you want to go and enable Delta Sync, and what Delta Sync is, is basically allows you to sync up all of your data with other services and other servers. So this is another really cool thing. You could basically just go through and basically enable your service right here. So if you want your you know, other information, your data, save states, all that stuff to be synced up. And if you lose your phone, it'll still be saved. You probably want to enable this on and just set this up. You can set up your haptic touch under home screen shortcuts and so many other things. Now, course settings is a thing you probably have to get figured out. I will leave a video link down in the description on exactly how to set this up. So you can click on that first link down there. You want to bring these files in. So the BIOS, BIOS 9 and firmware.bin, you want to bring these in. So again, if you want to do that, click on the link down in the description and you'll basically be able to find this information. And that's if you want to play DS games, you're going to have to input these files. Hopping back out, you can export your error log. And at the very bottom, these are just the developers. Make sure you give them a lot of credit and a lot of love because without their support, without their help, we would have never been able to do this. So that's that. Now, importing a game, like I mentioned before, I'm not going to show you how to import your game but you're going to have to find a game that you basically want to bring in. So in this case, I've already inputted my Super Mario game, so I just click here and click open, and then I have my game right there. Now, if you hold down on the game, you can see that there's some interesting stuff. You can rename it, you can change your artwork, you can share it, save states, import, you can do all sorts of things, and you can delete the game just by holding it down and clicking delete. In this case, we'll just go and open up the game as we normally would, and then you'll come into your normal game. Now within this, it's pretty basic as you probably would have expected. You can move around the specific thing. It's a pretty basic type of layout. You have your, basically with any game that you play, you have your box art at the bottom, you see your controllers, then you have the actual display at the very top. The cool thing though is that it is, you know, you can go and rotate it and be able to play the game the long way as well. So you have multiple different ways of playing the game, which is actually very, very cool. Now the game and everything that you play is gonna be different per game, so I'm not gonna show you a tutorial on how to play this specific game. But with every single game, there's going to be a menu icon. What you want to do is you want to tap onto that menu icon. And within here, there's going to be a lot of stuff. So here you can go ahead and save state. And what a save state is, is it basically just goes ahead and it will basically just like keep you exactly where you are. So if you're in the middle of a jump or your middle, whatever you're, whatever part you're in of the game, it'll go ahead and save it exactly where you are. It's really nice if you're in a very difficult level and you keep dying, you can just save your state instead of losing all your lives, you can just kind of save your state and then load your state by tapping on that load state button and that will load you exactly where you are. I use it a lot. Under cheat codes, this is basically a little option which will allow you to go ahead and basically bring in little cheats from your particular device. So it's actually a really cool thing. What it basically does in the short term is it you know allows you to bring in cheats and things that you've set up before. So it's like little binary codes 
you can use it if you want to. Think of things like action where you play her game sharks. If you don't know anything about it, you know, then I guess you probably won't even use it, but it's still a really cool thing to have. If you want to fast forward cutscenes, you can always click fast forward. And if you ever want to be in a situation where you're holding buttons, you can click on hold buttons and it will allow you to go and hold the button temporarily. And you can just turn it off by just going back into here and then your menu, and then you can just go back and turn it off right there. So at a high level, that's basically how to use the Delta emulator. It's a pretty cool emulator. I like it a lot. And it probably is one of the best applications ever made. And I'm very, very happy that we have this app now on our particular iPhones. So that is basically it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.